What is artificial intelligence? Why is it artificial? Is it really intelligent? So many questions. And in today's video, we bring you the answers to some of these AI related questions. Artificial intelligence is not a new phenomenon, but it's only recently that it's become the talk of the town. If you feel confused by the multiple, often even controversial, descriptions of what artificial intelligence is or isn't, that's completely fair. Taking into account that there's no agreement on the definition of artificial intelligence, and that the technology which can be understood under this umbrella term is changing at a fast pace, it's difficult to pinpoint what artificial intelligence really is. In today's video, we will try to shed some light on what artificial intelligence means and whether it's a good or bad thing. What does AI really mean? The sci-fi world, along with futurists, like to suggest that artificial intelligence amounts to sinister robots who become obsessed with eradicating humanity. It's fun to contemplate such fantasies, but they nonetheless give us the false impression about what artificial intelligence actually is. Let's look at what it means through the example of artificial intelligence used to hire people. You need to hire someone for a role with specific requirements. To create an AI-based system for this purpose, you need to feed the requirements the job entails into an algorithm. How do you do it? Well, the easiest, if available, is to feed previous CVs into the algorithm of both successful and unsuccessful applicants. This provides the software with examples of what constitutes a successful application. The chilling thing, though, is that we do not know how the machine reasons. This is called the black box effect, referring to the problem that data goes into the system, which in return processes it and as an output generates new data. But we do not know how exactly it processed the data. Is artificial intelligence good or bad? There are areas where the application of AI-based systems are productive. Artificial intelligence can do a good job at very narrow tasks that can be made to look like mathematics, like playing chess or modeling climate change. However, corporations and governments want to use it for lots of other tasks because it's cheaper than paying a person. The problem starts when people think AI is smarter than it is. That quote originates from Meredith Broussard, a data journalist, who calls attention to the injustices that arise from applying artificial intelligence in areas which it cannot understand, and as an outcome, it makes bad decisions. Algorithms can't understand a crucial part of our essence, such as morality, culture, art, history, or emotion, as these cannot be expressed in a mathematical equation. One of the places artificial intelligence is used a lot on social media channels. For example, Facebook uses algorithms to block or take down content that breaks its rules. And this frequently goes wrong. After the Swedish Cancer Society had shared an animated video on Facebook explaining how to self-conduct breast examinations, the platform took it down with the explanation that, quote, your ad cannot market sex products or services, nor adult products or services, according to The Guardian. The historical image that captures a naked girl fleeing from a napalm attack in the Vietnam War was censored by Facebook because of her nudity. What bothered potential critics of AI is that a tool is not able to distinguish between medical information and sexual content, or between history and child pornography, not only clearly has flaws, but violates our freedom of expression through online censorship. We hope that explains it. Keep watching our content for more of such infotainment.